Welcome to another episode of the Liberty Mastermind Podcast. Today we're going to do something a little different than maybe we have in the past. I've had something on my mind over maybe two months. And it's, I've wanted to talk about, well, why do, why do we discuss these topics like prepping and, and, and homesteading and those sorts of things? I mean, what does it all boil down to? And I suppose we could talk about the why as these are all self-empowerment topics. You might describe them as self-sufficiency, self-reliance, but, but just bottom line, self-empowerment. Now, why? Why are we going over these things? Well, maybe we could take a high-level view, a you might call it a high level of analysis. So something that I've been kind of watching a little bit here and there lately, bits and pieces, little news stories, you know, maybe a couple times a week, I see little puzzle pieces and I've been putting them together in my mind. And it's a, I call it a high level of analysis because it's more at the like geopolitical level of global affairs, what's going on in the world. And two things that I've been watching, just catching stuff here and there, China and Russia. And this isn't like, oh, the mar- the, the, the zombies are going to march and the, the Russians are going to invade and b- quick, buy our iodine. You know, it's, it's not that sort of thing, <laughs> if you know who I'm referencing. This is more, hey, let's be mindful of some of the things going on at a at a higher level and well may just be mindful of it and then this is kind of a good reason to focus more on the things we do have influence over which is ourself our family so again over the past couple months i've been wanting to just touch on china and russia and how synchronous that Two, three days before recording this episode, we see in the news a couple big stories that are related to China, that are related to Russia. Well, one of them is the current president of China just cemented his ability to have an indefinite term as president of China. Now, what does that mean for us? I, I don't know exactly, but it's obvious that if you look at history over the span of, of hundreds, hundreds of years, maybe even thousands of years, powers come and go. You have rises and falls of the de facto superpower wherever that is around the world. They rise, they fall. And our country has been a sort of an experiment for the past approximately 100 years of being one of the, or the, superpower. And China has been trending up in terms of being a global superpower. And what are they doing lately? What are they doing over the past handful of years? Well, they're they're taking that new pound that newfound power out for a spin, <laughs> so to speak, in the world, right? What are they doing? They're beefing up their military. President just cemented his ability to rule indefinitely. It appears. What about Russia? Well, Russia just announced, let me read some of this to you. President Putin just made an announcement to the world of their increased global strike capabilities, their their military strike capabilities. One of them is an underwater drone armed with a nuclear warhead powerful enough to sweep away coastal facilities and aircraft carriers. There's something else. It's a hypersonic vehicle impossible to intercept as it flies in a cloud of plasma like a meteorite. What the fuck? 
and Russia has some new strategic weapon and well, now they're just kind of flexing their muscles, it looks like. What else have they built? Some new nuclear-powered missile that can zigzag around the world, avoiding defensive capabilities. And it can be airborne and definitely appears. I mean, what on earth? So we've got these rising superpowers... Russia, China, there are others. But these rising superpowers that are taking their newfound power out for a test drive. And then we've got the United States. What have we done over the past handful of years? We're, we've upset some of our allies. Definitely upset some of our enemies. And what's going on? We're seeing a lot of them get into bed with each other. And I don't want to take this in the direction of, you know, it's, it's going to be World War III, nuclear, thermonuclear, mutually assured destruction, all that. I, I just want to kind of bring awareness to it that there's an ebb and flow. There's a rise and fall of superpowers. I don't know where we're going to go, but it's something to be mindful of. And jumping off from that, well, how can we prepare if, say... I don't know, there is economic warfare. Some would argue that there has been for a while with certain global superpowers, there's economic warfare going on. I don't know for sure, but what does it hurt to grow more food at home? What does it hurt? I've done an episode on microgreens before. I can grow super high quality food at home. I don't have to get in my car and go to the grocery store or anything like that. I can grow it right here. I can grow it at home, in my homestead. What about, we've kind of touched on it before, but what about just having cash on hand? You know, we did an episode with a a, a friend, we won't name him now, but a current member of the special operations community here in the United States. And we were just improv free-flowing, and he talked about there are not a lot of problems that can't be solved with $10,000. So just having emergency fund on hand, right? What's wrong with having a store of an emergency front? Nothing. What about another concept that we have touched on is putting a little bit of your net monthly income into various precious metals, gold, silver, sort of diversifying. So where is this going? We like to talk about things that are self-empowering, that you can empower your life, your family's life, Maybe even a higher level than that, your, 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 your friends, your neighbors. Maybe you can turn what you do into a side hustle or a full-time hustle. That's what this show is about. I've heard a great analogy before that is appropriate to this conversation we're having today. And that's doing these things, whether it's growing your own food having cash on hand, diversifying some of your your resources into precious metals that have stood the test of time of, of, of thousands of years, held their value over thousands of years. Whatever you're doing, it's like putting on a seatbelt in a vehicle. You get in the vehicle, you put on your seatbelt, hopefully, And you hope you're never in a situation that the seatbelt is required, but you have it on. Now, are you any worse off for driving with the seatbelt on? No. Just like I'm not any worse off growing my own vegetables, my own microgreens. 
raising quail that give me little eggs every day that I turn into an omelet. So again, going back, I, I bring up China and Russia just as something to be mindful of. You know, I, I don't have any... What President Trump does, it, that's outside of my sphere of influence. What, what happens in Washington, D.C., and, you know, if you're in that whole the deep state camp or, or the globalists and all that, I don't, I don't have any... That's outside of my sphere of influence. But what's in my sphere of influence? Well, I can walk 20 paces over and, and I can feed my quail. I can grow microgreens indoors that are better, higher quality than anything I can find in any grocery store. Whether it's Whole Paychecks grocery store or, or any of the other retail grocery stores. So just food for thought. Why are we doing this? Why are we talking about these concepts? It all boils down to self-empowerment. I think you could also say it boils down to community. So what I've what I've talked about before is if I have a surplus of eggs, chicken eggs, duck eggs, quail eggs, that is beyond the need of my family or, or friends or circle or whatever, I can I can barter that. I can trade it with someone else. I can sell it. And what can that do if I? give the mailman a dozen eggs <laughs> and then later he just drops off a pound of coffee. What does that do? That builds up community. Those relationships, that, that sense of community, there's a strength to that. And whether there's drama with, with Russia, with China, with any other superpower, whether there's any drama there, there's something about that community. What if something more likely happens like, oh, I don't know, a, a huge rainstorm. We had this nasty rainstorm recently in, in my neck of the woods. Things are flooded. There's dead cattle floating around. Things are underwater. Businesses, homes are underwater. I've got that community. I can reach out. How awesome is that? So again, not trying to be an alarmist, just maybe touching on something briefly. Now, I, I, I'm more focused, again, I, I touch on these things like Russia and China and what's going on. Sometimes I'll watch, look at CNN or Fox News or <laughs> For a chuckle, I'll pull up InfoWars just to see kind of what's going on out there. What's the what's the chatter? What's the pulse of everything going on? But I don't spend a whole lot of time dwelling on it all. I'm too busy trying to practice good medicine, trying to turn to learn how to better myself, or learn something that I can pass along to you. You know, Vin Armani said on an earlier show, can't be broke with a pocket full of diamonds. That is, put things in your pocket that are skills or, or, or tools that can empower you. And you might be able to reach in your pocket and pull out that skill, that tool, and transform it to something like money, to something else. You can put it to use. Can't be broke with a pocket full of diamonds. So, I've wanted to get something, uh, not really off my chest, that's not a great way to describe it, but just, just wanted to touch on this. Why are we doing this show? Again, you're no better off putting on a seatbelt in a vehicle, even if you, even if you never need that seatbelt, you're no better off putting it on. Just like, no, excuse me, you're no worse off putting it on. <laughs> <sighs> yeah.
you're no worse off putting on that seatbelt, even if you don't use it. So in future episodes, hope we can get back to more hands-on activities, more, more hard skills, more interesting topics. What are you doing to beef up your self-empowerment, your self-sufficiency, your self-reliance? What are you working on? Let us know. What do you want to learn more about? You know, some, some topics we have in the pipeline that the guys have discussed. Mead making, barter blanket, precious metals. Maybe we get back more into the, some of the tactical stuff. I don't know. What do you all want to learn about? How can we develop more of that community here with the Liberty Mastermind podcast tribe? Let us know. Final thought, just what's in your sphere of influence? What do you have influence over? Well, yourself. Probably stuff you, with your family. Maybe stuff with friends. Maybe, maybe what you do at work. What do you have influence over? And I'll leave you with that. Thanks for tuning in.